Hey, it's Azure Friday. I'm talking with Eric Gamma, and we're looking at the uh, preview here of Visual Studio Online and some of the live editing. So I think I understand what I what I am able to do now. Okay. So you, let, Go ahead. Let's see if I can get this right. So this is, you showed me a Node application and you showed me CSS editing, but I tend to do my work in ASP.NET and C Sharp. So this is the uh, the visitors application that I showed at the um, the Visual Studio launch, and in fact this is a uh, a SPA application, a single page app that calls a bunch of web APIs. But those web APIs are written in C sharp. Okay? And I'm going to actually get rid of that console. Console. Let's close, just close this here. Yeah. Okay. So this is the C sharp code behind that. And there's an API controller called Visitors. And I'm getting all of that nice experience in the uh, C sharp here. And if you look at getting visitors, you pass in a range. This is a uh, and it, what's called attribute routing that we just shipped. So I can say, give me an ID and then a certain kind of picture. Mm -hmm. If I try to hit that, okay, so I'll go over here and I'm going to just say API slash visitors. It's not going to let me do it. If I try to hit it with the one slash one, it's trying to get me to sign in. So you're telling me that I can compile my application from here. So let me see. I'm going to cheat for development purposes. And I'm going to comment. Control seven. Control seven for you. Right? What is control? How did you do that? Control seven. So that's that's like control K, control C. What I'm used to. Right. Exactly. So you have no seven. No coding yet. Oops. Yeah. No coding. Yeah. I think I hit control seven and I switched to the seventh tab. There you go. And I don't have to hit save. I notice no, I've been I've no. been habitually hitting no. Control S. But you see the the Git got updated. You have now going changes. Your little change bar here. So ah. things are good. Things, things are, good. are good. Okay. Yeah. So then Close I could the go console. and say open the console. And How do I do split screen? Uh, you can either do a Control click, right? Do a Control click. Yeah. Okay. You want to see the source as well? I want to have them side by side. Sure. Let's do that then. And you just do the Control click here. Oh, control click gives me split control screen. is always split, but you can also do whenever you open something. You can say, and then if you want, you want it left or right, right? You well, that's great. I like it's your, your it. choice. This what is you good. Do, right? so oh, you actually can drag the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. So but you're, just, an old you're having too much Nothing fun showing version. up. Nothing this version. Sorry. So I'm going to type MS Build. Now let me actually just type PWD here. Right? Can I do no, that? I'm sorry. PWD. What do you want to do? I want to know where I'm at. I'm at. I'm at slash. Yeah, slash. Yeah. Which is the root of my yes, yes. application. PWD, I wanted to print working directly. I see, I see, I see. So I I'm see. just typed MS Build, so it really ran the real stuff. I can MS Build slash question mark. Is this real? Yeah, look at that. That's really MS Build. So I just built that, yep. compiled it. Yep. So then I should be able to go back in here, and now since I removed authorization for development purposes, I'm going to hit API slash visitors, and look at that. And behind the scenes, no, the site got restarted, whatever, on first request, and so on. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's just ASP. Right? Because that was Antares and, and those things doing their jobs. Right. Yeah. Site got restarted. Yeah. That's fantastic. So I've got the ability to have my type checking, my syntax checking on the client side using those language services, but then a proper compilation on the server side for my C sharp. But truth in advertising, right? You didn't get IntelliSense, right? For, for C sharp, it's just textual auto completion, right? So, ah. so just to be fair, right? We no, have no sense. we have no C sharp language service in the browser as we have uh, for TypeScript and JavaScript, or okay. less, as I showed before. But you have you have I typed again completion, yeah, which yeah. is the I've seen him type this before. Yeah, Surely yeah. he wants to type it again. Yeah, you saw it. You yeah. need to test it as you type. Right which there. It's a little bit yeah bluffing, right? No, it, that's pretty that's pretty cool though. Yeah. And then I got my. Uh, my compilation at the back end here right. when I hit MS Build. Yeah. And then I could then commit it yes. to dev and then push it to production. Exactly. You can set it up even if you commit it. Antares supports that you auto commit, right? You can set up a website whenever you push oh, right. to get a BID. Calls the hook. Yes, exactly. You know, the thing that I like about this is that the, the Antares and the Kudu experience existed, and this, this integrates in that in a way that is, that is comfortable. It, it, it fits, it belongs. Initially, I was thinking, I don't see how this fits in my workflow. I don't want to edit in production. But now I get it. You do it not in production. You, you do, do it not in production. It has nothing to do with that. And actually, the architecture builds right on top of Kudu, right? Kudu yeah. made an extension that you can run Git on the side of your website. Mm. And we are just another what we call a site extension. Monaco is yet another of these extensions to the website uh, that you can run in a website. So right. it's the Kudu on, on Tars extension architecture we're using 
to uh, integrate. So you're a peer to Kudu. Yes. You're a peer to Kudu, exactly. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And you can check this stuff out, log into your portal. Uh, when, uh, by the time this has been, been viewed, this will be available for people to take a look at. Yes, yes. Very cool. It's Azure Friday. Thank mm -hmm. you.